What is going on, YouTube people? The Air Cards of Comics here just for a quick little Friday PSA national pricing video. Uh, Thursday afternoon slash evening, depending on your time zone. PSA dropped the prices for on-site grading at the national. No July special as of yet, as I kind of thought. There probably wouldn't be one out of the gates as it seems like they're running a little bit behind right now. Still checking in order, so they probably want to get that caught up. Maybe they'll drop something right before the national, kind of like they did last year, where uh, you could submit online or do a drop-off in person if they can get caught up as we kind of move throughout the month of July. But we are less than three weeks away now from the national in Chicago. So what did PSA give us? National Express, which I believe is end of show. $2,500 declared value, $150. Super Express, which I believe is same day. $5,000 declared value, $250. Walk through $15K at $500. And then the premium ones there for the super, super high-end stuff. I think they're also doing reholders there too, potentially. Uh, but I don't see any pricing on that. These prices are always at a pretty big premium. I believe dealers have some special pricing beyond this for the group submitters and stuff. That they get it a little bit less. But no details on what those numbers look like either. Once again, you are paying for the convenience here and the fact that you are getting it done right there, essentially in front of you, even if it might take a day or two. And I get it, you know, sure, that sounds like a lot, but a lot of people take high-end items to get graded on site because they, they're scared of the shipping. And you do save a lot on shipping, especially the insured shipping coming back to you uh, if you have a high dollar item. And a lot of people are grading on site to potentially flip while they're at the show. You know, you see a really good deal on a True Gem Plus Beckett 9.5. Maybe you crack it and take a shot for the $150 on site uh, with the end of show through the Express. A lot of people play those angles. Regardless of the pricing, I can tell you right now, the PSA booth will be an absolute madhouse. It typically always is. Hopefully they have some sort of better system this year. No details on that yet. So PSA is the first one out the door with national pricing. Uh, we know next week, I believe, is the day that CGC gave for when they are going to kind of announce their new pricing. I don't know if national stuff will be included in that or not. But we should get a CGC announcement at some point in time next week. But PSA is first out the door. We will see what the other companies do. You know, the, the, the big one is SGC. Do they do on-site grading again? Or do they just bring back the RCR service like they did last year? Like I said in previous videos, I believe that that worked out pretty well for them. But the clock is ticking on these companies to get their information out the door. Uh, PSA appears it is first in regards to on-site. But I have a feeling we're going to see other pricing drops, specials, and other nonsense. I've been saying it for weeks now. Between now and when we all show up in Chicago. The one that I am most interested in is Beckett. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Are they going to stick and stay? Are they going to shake up the grading scale? Are they going to do something wild with subgrades? Are they going to do something with a gem at 10 scale? All that is still in limbo and has been. I think even if they're going to stay and do nothing, I feel like they have to come out and at least say, hey, we're just sticking with our grading scale. It's not changing anytime soon grade with confidence that you know your your grade is going to be your grade you don't have to worry about it upscaling or downscaling to a gem mint 10 or a gem mint plus 95 or whatever they were trying to do before they are the biggest shoe to drop i feel like in the grading space if any other companies have any news we'll see what happens between now and then as well uh, from an sgc perspective as we talked about in the monday video I wouldn't be surprised if they have some sort of price shift. They've been at the $18 level forever for their main uh, service entry. You would have to think that they are at least considering doing a little bit of a price adjustment on their end as well. Like I've speculated about for a while, the $15 thing to me really feels like a test bed, the $15 football for what demand would look like across the board if they just went to $15. I could be completely wrong. 
Uh, but I feel like they have something brewing as well. So PSA is out the gate. We'll see what everyone else does. And then the non-grading space, you know, does Fanatics have any bombs to drop on us? They would be the biggest ones, most likely, if they were going to shake anything up. Uh, a Victor Wembanyama exclusive, the quarterback exclusivity. Is that All that stuff is still in limbo. It's rumor, speculation, LeBron James and upper deck. All that stuff is rumors and speculation. We don't know what is going on yet in regards to any of that stuff. We're probably going to get an answer pretty quickly on the football thing because score comes out, I think, any day now, maybe next week, maybe midweek next week, score football comes out. Uh, and we have not seen a checklist for that yet. There is no checklist up on the site. I don't know if the players are going to be college uniform or NFL uniform. I don't know if that matters. But we don't know how, the, how these exclusives and weird things work when you start to get into the weeds on this stuff. For the quarterbacks, for C.J. Stroud and Bryce Young, they did have Panini Instant Autos uh, up on the website last week. I actually gambled and ordered one of the C.J. Stroud ones. It was 300 bucks. Uh, they come numbered out of, I think, 361 or 81 or 89 or something, just under 400 uh, with the chance to hit, you know, something lower potentially. I figured it was worth the shot. You know, I'll risk the 300 bucks that maybe that's his only auto in an NFL jersey. If it ends up turning out wrong, it ends up turning out wrong. Uh, and I'll, I'll probably, you know, maybe break even or lose a little bit on that, depending on how he looks in season. But I was willing to take the gamble that that's going to be his only NFL uniform auto, because if that's the case, then that card turns into a whole other different thing. High risk, high reward. We'll see what happens with that. But I would think any of that sort of stuff, if Fanatics has things locked down, those announcements are going to come out. The other thing is, is do we get any sort of announcement regarding basketball product? There was that cryptic tweet a month or two ago from Shams about Fanatics planning on making basketball cards for this upcoming season. We still don't know what that means. Does that mean like what we've been getting with the Bowman University stuff and Bowman Inception stuff? Or do they have something else up their sleeve? Uh, there's been rumors that they have something else up their sleeve. I don't know what that would be, but now would be a good time to kind of blast that out there into the ether uh, if you have something along those lines as well. So does Tops have anything? Do they have any promotions? Usually they do silver pack promotions. We haven't seen much around. There's been some speculations around uh, trade nights, potentially getting the kibosh put on them other than the sponsored one on Thursday uh, that Card Collector 2 puts on. I don't think they'll be able to stop the random pop-up hotel trade nights, but I think people that were trying to organize unofficial trade nights around the area uh, have maybe got the side eye a little bit from either the people that run the national or the hotels. I don't know what, but there was a, a vintage trade that got shot down that uh, Ryan from Breakout Cards tweeted about. I think Dustin ended up doing a video on it. So lots of fun stuff, as always, as we approach the national. I expect the next couple weeks to be very busy news-wise. And I'm not even factoring in any of the other companies that may or may not have something cooking. This is the time that they are going to do it. Any of the marketplaces, any of the auction houses, any of the other ancillary companies. If you got something that you've been working on for a while, now's your chance to get it out there into the news cycle. So July, probably be a very busy video month if I had to guess. Catch you guys and girls on the next one. Everyone have a great weekend. We will see you Sunday. I don't think there'll be a Saturday video, maybe a live stream. Peace.